Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today is a special episode because we're at the Gilmore Museum out in Michigan. Come on out. I'll have all the details in the description of the video. And today I'm with Ken Fashon. Ken, tell them your title here. I'm Director of Commercial Operations here at the Gilmore Car Museum, Lou. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to take you on a complete video of the Gilmore Museum. But right now we're featuring this car. What's the year, make, and model? It's a beautiful 1963 Series 62 Cadillac Convertible. You're gonna love this one because, well, it's the big daddy, caddy. So let's take a look, and we put it in the sun so that you could see it just like that. And even the birds sing with this one. Now we've taken it to a far section on our beautiful 90-acre historic campus. And I have to step back just a bit to get all that in. The color on this one, Persian sand, I believe. Those of you who are Cadillac experts can correct me if I'm wrong. We're featuring that between the racetrack building and the Model T building. And I'll show you those in the video called the Gilmore Museum. What a fun time on my car story. So can we open the hood right now? So it's right here. Yep featuring the turn signals there. We put the engine right there in the sun. Now this car is obviously driven as we're gonna be riding in it. As you'll see, we have even got a special ride for you. We're gonna get a drive through the Gilmore Museum where you're gonna see great gas stations, great buildings that look like they were dealerships and you know me, I love to feature the tag, as we have right there. And while we've got this open, let's uh, fire it up, shall we? And I'll listen to the exhaust, we'll step on the brakes. That's a tractor in the background. As you'll hear the Cadillac will sound. <laughs> Beat the horn for me. Nice. Let me just listen to the exhaust for a second. Ken, while I'm back here, can you step on the brakes for just a moment? Perfect. Let me listen to that idle. That literally sounds like a boat. Can you give it a little gas? <laughs> Knocking some of the moisture out of that one. That is great. Let's uh, take a moment and we will turn. Actually, what I'm gonna do is let's, uh, I'm gonna shut the hood for just a minute. We can shut it off. I'm gonna be gentle with our heavy hood. But as I close that, I want to feature the crest, the Cadillac V. And let me just show you all the points on the front of that if I get right there. You've got points here, 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 in the grill, and that face looks bold and beautiful. I want to show you these rims, the turn signals that wrap around, and we'll uh, take a moment to turn this one around. So here we are in the back of this car, and as you can see, even though it's 63, we still have some fins for you. Now we'll get a close up on some of those fins, as you can see. Now, when the park lights are on, do those come on, or these are just decorative? Because these are obviously the actual brake lights. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, we'll focus in on our badging. It's a wonderful piece in here. Let's open up the trunk, shall we? Sure, Now, we don't have trunk and treats, but we do have something for you. Because it's uh, some of the early cars. 
Yes, it's springtime. <laughs> that is great. So we brought our springtime Cadillac car for you as we start the year. And what they do is uh, we have driving these cars. They take some people on some drives. We can close that. Thank you. Wonderful trunk, though, with the nice carpeting and everything. Yeah. So we're going to take a cruise in the Cadillac as we shared. I'm going to open this, may I? Yeah. Thanks. So here's your interior door. I'll open that like so. We'll show you the overall instrumentation. I'm going to turn that wheel just a tad so you can see that. Also, we have this Vintag here. Notice you have these lights there in the back. Take a look at your very packed door. Your grab handle. Very nice. Even the grab handle's got little pieces in there. Gives it this comfort. Lights. I like the two-spoke steering wheel. You can see the more stations. Your trunk, your generator. Fuel, clock, and our dashboard. That must, this must be the top switch over here, I'm guessing. That looks great. That's kind of interesting. You'll see park neutral, drive below, and reverse. So instead of pulling all the way to the right and that being drive, that's actually reverse our fan speed, our dual pieces here, warmer, colder, right vent, left vent, our mirror. And for this one, well, I think it's time to take it for a ride. Well, Ken and I are off on an excellent adventure here at the Gilmore, and not only do we have a perfect day, which we're gonna show you, but take a look. Let's drive through Dealer Row. Now you might be asking, what's Dealer Row? Well, you're going to see that. This is fun, right? Oh, absolutely. And, and, you, hey. get, and you get to do this every day. I do. <laughs> it's a top-down day. <laughs> this you know? is great. This is awesome. So here we have our dealership row. These are car dealerships built just like they would have been when they were open. On the right is a Franklin Motor Car dealership from... Uh, they sold cars from 1902 to 1934, and they and Mr. Franklin invented the air-cooled engine. Wow. Across the street is a 1928 Ford dealership, and this is built just like it would have been in 1928, with gas pumps outside, a complete parts and service department inside, and every Model A you could imagine that came out in 1928. So the beginning of the Model A, and there it was. Yes. There's your Franklin. Notice that number up on there. Obviously there's an airplanes too. Absolutely made airplane aviation engines all air cooled. What do we have to the right? On the right this is a 1920s Lincoln dealership um, and it, it was constructed in kind of a, a classical architecture and this was an actual de dealership in Detroit and it features every Lincoln from the earliest ones from the early 20s right up to modern day um, concept cars. What a traffic jam. Now coming in front of us, <laughs> we have a 1935 London taxi. It's an Austin. <laughs> it's great. Now across the street, this is a 1948 Cadillac LaSalle dealership. Wow. And it has the very first Cadillac in 1903, right up to a really cool collection of early Eldorados in there too. There's lots to see what we'll be getting to later. 
That'll be great. Now, as you look across the campus, Lou, um, that's our 1941 Blue Moon Diner, uh, where you see the car parked in front of it right now. So right uh, next to our Blue Moon Diner is our Grillmore. And at the Grillmore, you can get Deuce and Burgers, or Lincoln Links, or Plain Wheel Hot Dogs. Nice. Nice, huh? And then to the left of that is our Bar Barn. Let's go, let's go that way, can we? You want to go that way? Yeah. Sure, of course. Let's head that way. And we have a full bar available for plus portable bars for all of our events here in the Gilmore campus. You'll also notice on the left, this is this is a beautiful four-story barn that came from a spearmint farm about 50 miles west of here that used to supply Wrigley's chewing gum in Chicago with their spearmint. Is that right? Yep. And on the bottom level of that, we have cars from the 1940s. Upper level is cars from the early 1920s. On the right, this is our steam barn, another gorgeous place we're going to explore later on. And the steam barn uh, is the home for the Museum of the Horseless Carriage, which is cars from 1886 to 1916. Now, straight ahead where you see this 67 Lincoln convertible parked um, in front of our, our diner, we're going to pass by that because we also have a program here called Ride the Classics. And we give rides to people that come to the museum and get to enjoy some of the classic cars like this 1963 Cadillac we're riding in. This is the carriage house. It's the first building that Donald and Genevieve Gilmore built on the property. Uh, and they built this really cool silo also where they would bring uh, and entertain friends. Inside here we have early vintage trucks on the left. Uh, down the middle are cars that were recently donated. There's a 1908 Cadillac Hotel Roadster. Behind it is a beautiful 1969 Jaguar E type. Uh, and then after that a 1928 um, uh, Nash. On the right side we have all cars from the early 20th century, some of which were made right here in Kalamazoo. And if you go to the video, the Gilmore Museum, My Car Story with Lou, what fun, you'll see snippets of all of that. So Lou, got a question for you, a sure. little trivia fact. Yeah. Which two states in the United States still only offer full service gas? One's on the East Coast, one's on the West Coast. Okay, I would guess uh, Maine. Nope. Okay. Which it's what? a new state. Uh, it's not New York. New Jersey. Right. Okay. New, right. Jersey. new Jersey. And then I'm going to guess. Uh, and on the west coast, Seattle. Uh, Seattle, Washington. Uh, close. Oregon. Oregon. All you right. got it. <laughs> Oregon. All right. So you cannot. You've got to get full service gas. Full you know, service come. gas. I had no idea. This is super cool. On that one. Let's uh, keep driving around here. This is pretty pretty cool spot. Yeah. What is this brick? Car. This is a Pontiac. Now, it's the only car on the property that does not run. <laughs> <laughs> For obvious reasons. Yeah. Um, and it was a sculpture that was done uh, in, uh, up in uh, Grand Rapids for part of their, uh, their art uh, event that they have every year up there. And we got to get it here. They moved it here, the brick car. The brick car. Now, right across from this, Lou, should have been a bricklet. This Go is ahead. our pedal car barn. So it's filled, it's a great place for kids to come and play yeah. and see the pedal cars. Uh, also, it's inside is the only movie set that Walt Disney ever let leave the studio. Is that right? From the Gnome Mobile and the 1930 Rolls Royce from the movie. And Walt Disney was a good friend of John, Donna and Genevieve Gilmore. And is he that used to right? visit here in the 1960s, early 60s. Very cool. We'll take them. So, Ken, what do we have here? Coming up here, Lou, is our Century of Motorcycles uh, gallery. And... Uh, it's got uh, some really spectacular motorcycles, and we have uh, Fonzie's motorcycle from Happy Days coming back uh, to right. the museum, too, in our main uh, gallery as well. So um, it's a really pretty cool uh, motorcycle gallery as well. Now, up here on the left is our Model T barn. This one? On the left, yeah. We have Model T Driving School here at the Gilmark, and uh, we literally because demand has been so great um, we literally sold out in just a few weeks over 740 spots and we wow. offer driving classes and model t's from may through october so if you want to come learn you better get your reservation in for 2022 that is great 
On the right here, this is the Red Barns Raceway. In 1957, the very first slot car track in the United States was in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And we have an amazing state-of-the-art, probably one of the best, uh, all beautifully landscaped, computerized slot car tracks in the world. And it fills up this whole barn, and we have this open on uh, uh, weekends for big kids and little kids that, that want to race. That is great. Well, usually when you're taking your tour with Lou and you're driving through the countryside, we're seeing all kinds of beautiful environment like we are right here. But what a fun way to take a cruise in this 63 Cadillac Series 62 convertible than to take a look at the Gilmar. What a fun time. Thanks, Ken. Yeah. What a treat. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. This is the original farmhouse to oh, the property more. right over here. Yeah. And uh, this is now being used, it was, uh, it's being used now as an event space for weddings, for when we do concerts on the property. This is our green room, and it's just a beautiful old classic farmhouse from the early 20th century. That is great. Come on out to the Gilmore, guys, and also see some of the featured video that I have called the Gilmore Museum. What a fun time on My Car Story with Lou. Ken, what a treat. Thanks for the ride. Oh, sure. In your cabin.